Good morning, everybody, and welcome to St. FX University here for the semifinal matchup of the U11AA playoffs here in the Scotia Minor. The visiting Truro Bearcats will be taking on the home team, the Antigonish Bulldogs. Antigonish in their white jerseys going right to left, and the Truro Bearcats in their black and reds going left to right. My name, Matt Dudelay for High Button Sports. Alongside my cameraman and producer, Mr. Tyson Alders here, we welcome you to this game here this morning. We're happy to have you along with us. We are just seconds away from puck drop now, the starting goaltenders. First for the Churro Bearcats, number 31, Henry Hutchinson, fantastic name. And down in the Andy Ganesh goal, it looks like number 31 from what I can tell. And that is Landon McDonald. Now I may have mixed it up, so bear with me here, folks. Made the trip up here this morning for this game. Excited to be here. So now the Bulldogs are gonna Loop in front of their own zone now and back up the ice goes Purcell. Purcell in over the blue line, left side. Ritzy presses him. And now it's gonna be pushed around to the other side. So Kiever gets it out. Now McGinnis is gonna just fire that back in. Red line and deep. Good strategy early on here. Now the outlet pass. That was McEachern's gonna hold the line there just inside the blue line. McDonald trying to step up now is that was going to be picked off by Brody Boyle. Now McDonald will get the puck. So they fight for it here. Boyle down there working hard. Wood down for the Bearcats. He'll loop in behind his own net here. He's gonna get the getaway sticks going. Now through the middle, just gets through a four checker. McKay able to pick that puck up as he pushes it out through the neutral zone, picked off here by the Bulldogs. McEachern there almost blew a tire, a little bit too much speed here. McIntyre, nice one-touch pass there. Good support there from McDonald. That's Samuel McDonald down over the blue line. Hit on the left side, a shot there. Oh, and that one goes just off the outside of the post. As Hutchinson had to battle through one of his defenders to see that puck. It's a good press here from the Bulldogs. This is win and move on to the big show later on today. It's the other two Pictou County teams going at it now as a shot there, scores! Bryce Boyle opens the scoring here for the hometown Bulldogs. Just under two minutes into this one. And the Bulldogs Nation, big fans of that one there as a shot through a little bit of a screen. So a tough save for Hutchinson to make. But just like that, the Bulldogs are on the board. Bryce Boyle, double B if you will. So the Bulldogs will win that face off after the goal. Now it's flipped around the other side. Ice looking mighty fine here at St. FX. Shout out to the ice crew. This historic building, lots of tradition here so far in this building which doesn't seem that old. Now I'm behind the net. Taken there, Bearcats back the other way, up off the wall, but McKinnon's there to hold the line, so he'll dip that back inside the zone. Around for it is King Hodgkinson. King, a fantastic name, and don't need to say much more. His shot there was deflected, that goes up and into the corner. So I'm starting to recollect some of these names here from the Oyster Cup last year. Lexi Barber being one of those, do remember her from the spring season last year. One of the fun parts of this job, folks, is watching the roots and the way these careers unfold and the way they progress over time is maybe the only one and with that opinion, but a very cool part for me. The Bearcats are just trying to get out of the zone here. It's gonna be held in once again. That's Will Chisholm. Holds the line. Now worked in here. Great press here from the Bulldogs. It's been all Andy Ganesh here to start. Hodgkinson. Got himself a little bit of a fortunate bounce as that puck hit off the official's skate. Hodgkinson, nice outlet pass for Beasley. Beasley looking through the middle for Barber. Barber eats a little bit of ice, able to pick that up. She's gonna get the line chip and go. She's gonna try and get on it herself. Now is McKinnon. Barber in there, they tangle up. She had a quick peek at the official just to, as if to say, didn't mean to do that, so don't call me. The Bearcats now in the neutral zone. Stick handling there, they fired up the strong side. Now down the left side and over the line, McKay wide. He'll get the puck now, McKay, shot there and a save by the goaltender there, the first one of the game for the Bulldogs netminder. There's now Andy Ganesh trying to get back the other way in transition through the middle. McCory wasn't able to get to it, McEachern in to help out. And now that's gonna be 
Brody Boyle. So we have Bryce Boyle, Brody Boyle, a couple McEachrans, a couple McDonald's. So bear with me here. It's Kiever now. He's going to pick it up inside his own blue line. He'll try and wheel through the neutral zone. He's being pressed there by Boyle. And that puck's going to go back up the strong side. The Bulldogs trying to get changed up. Now Murphy with it. He's got his head up the whole way. Love to see that here, especially at the young ages. McDaniel, the outlet pass. They're picked off as Ritzy came through in support. Now McKay with that puck. He's going to go on the back end. He's going to get the blue line. He'll get that deep. They're going to head for a change. He's in behind their own net now is Murphy. Good head of steam coming up ice there, getting the crossovers going through the middle of the ice now. Look at Murphy go down the left side and over the blue line. He just got it stolen, but he's back on puck pursuit here, and he'll pick that back up. They try and go back up top to the point, but it's picked off there. Dwyer. Samuel Dwyer now down low. Good battle in the corner there. Good job by the youngsters there to get good body position and set themselves up nice and low. It's two on one down low. Good job by the Bearcats to outnumber the puck carrier here. In behind the net, Dwyer rims it around. Held in here by the Bulldogs and they have come to play early on here. Picked off, oh front shot there, save Hutchinson. Rebound still loose in behind the net now. That's Hoyt with it. The captain here for the Bulldogs. He's got Lehman up ice, he's just gonna carry it. Lehman had to stay on side, he had to dangle his own man. Cuts back to the middle, onto the backhand, tries to fire one on net, does get it on. And that's, it is going to be number 30 in net there. Emerson Key McGinnis here for the Bulldogs. So I was wrong, and that won't be the last time today. It's Barber, fire it back. And we are going to have our first penalty here to the Bearcats. It's going to be an interference call, or sorry, it's going to be the Bulldogs. The Bearcats had touched it up, but just a little bit tardy on the whistle. So it's going to be Jacob Hopkins to the penalty box here. So two minutes up on the board, two or less. As the Bearcats with a fantastic opportunity here to tie things up. Just underneath the 10 minute mark here in the first period, 9.27. We'll see if the Bearcats can get humming on the power play here. And I see a familiar name for the Bearcats down there, Withrow. May not mean much to you guys, but we played against the guy and currently do named Withrow and he had quite the career for the Churro Bearcats, so. Always nice to see a familiar name. Now is Ritzy. Good edge work there. Now he cuts back the other way, tries to get a shot off, and that hits a stick of the defender and up and out of play. But what edge work there from Luke Ritzy. Because now you're going to have a look there. It's your starting goaltender for the Bulldogs, Emerson Key McGinnis. Great job by the cameraman to get right in there tight in a beautiful arena to stream games here, folks. Up here in the booth, St. Effect Main Arena. DJ's been absolutely on fire so far. As that faceoff's won cleanly, good job by Hodgkinson to hold the line there. Real composed move there. Backdoor pass, McKay is going to get his shot. He scores! Cohen McKay with the equalizer here for the Bearcats on the power play and a great seam pass backdoor. And just like that, folks, we are evened up at one. And if this game has showed me anything so far early on is that we are a long way from the finish here. Both these teams trying to solidify and punch their ticket to the championship game here in the playoffs. And we're gonna start back at center all fresh now as the linesman wants to make sure that that penalty box is closed. So face off now is push forward. Boyle tried to make a pass there, turned it over. Beasley through his feet, maybe a little bit of glue down there in the ice, that puck got stuck. Smith back forward here, couple shoulder checks for him. Spin off there. Now we're going to have another penalty to the Bulldogs. And Smith is laboring down there. And if you guys are new to the High Button Sports channel, we will not show injuries. We will keep you updated verbally as uh, we are in the internet era, folks. Doesn't take long to get a video out on the internet these days. No to respect to the players and their families. We just don't agree with showing that. So Smith's still down. Coach out to see him now is. We'll keep you updated and sometimes at the younger ages they just get a little more shaken up right off the bat and you end up seeing them back in. So that's what we hope the case is here. I think he just went down a little awkwardly. Tucker Smith and back to his feet now. He'll grab a stick. He's gonna hunch over though. Coach, whatever he said, got him back up and Tucker Smith, and with a name like Tucker, you know he's got a little bit of toughness down there. So in the other semifinal, 
over at the Andy Ganesh Arena. The two Pictou County Crushers teams going at it, so the Battle of Pictou County, and one thing's for sure, there will be a Crushers team in the championship game. It's just a matter of which one. So if you're looking for that channel, you head over to High Button 3 on YouTube, and you'll find all the action there from the Andy Ganesh Arena. Mr. Jeff Warburton from High Button Sports has been on the call all weekend. Now as the Bearcats look to get set up here on the power play, back down for Beasley. Beasley scanning for his options. Nelson right at the top of the blue line now. Barber just tried to flick it back over to Beasley, but now it's going to be sent the length of the ice. Good clear there by the Bulldogs as that one is 200 feet. And that's the name of the game, folks. Kill off Precious Seconds. Nice move there. Back up through the middle. Away goes Jackson Hoyt. He fires it up ice. That's going to be chipped in deep there by Sam Geddes. In on the four check, now the Bulldogs take the puck, try to get it over the zone. Withrow joins from the bench there. Shot there, tipped off the Bulldogs, and what a save there by Key McGinnis as he got that right pad out in a hurry off to deflection. A minute five left to go here in the man advantage. The outlet pass for Wood right on the tape, but he has a hard time handling it, so it's up and over everybody. And it's gonna be offside on the play. Thought it might have been up over the glass from my angle here, but 59 seconds left to go in the man advantage. And 7.41 left to go here in the first period. Busy, busy weekend for the High Button Sports crew. This tournament here, Andy Ganesh. Two rinks in Pictou County, two rinks in the Valley, Nova Scotia, and some playoff games that concluded last night. And this is the channel you're watching now as one of those teams that played their first playoff game in the U15 Major last night. So very busy weekend and wouldn't have it any other way, folks, as the Bearcats are back through the neutral zone. Ritzy using that fancy footwork. It's gonna get that puck in deep. The clearing attempt is gonna be held in. Hodgkinson fires that shot there and Key McGinnis keyed in on that one, makes the save and covers up. And you have a look there at the netminder and a couple of the defenders. So 33 seconds left in the penalty to McQuarrie. This is pushed forward off the face off now, picked up by Ty McDaniel. He's gonna fire that off the wall, doesn't quite make it out of the zone. And he'll follow up with the play. Wood tries to pull it into the middle. Boyle now with it, he'll stop up in behind the net. Smart play there, use that net as protection, but he's being funneled out from both sides here, so he's gonna have to make a decision. Good support there from McDaniel and some good hockey IQ on display here so far in this one. Always nice to support the puck carry. Now a pass into the middle. Ritzy, nice move onto the backhand. Cuts back to the forehand shot. He scores! Luke Ritzy, goal number two. And he shows off some of those silky mittens here early on this morning. As they cut back move, caught the goalie going to the right. And not much he could do there. Great play by Ritzy as he gives the Bearcats the lead just as the penalty expired. So two to one lead now for the Churro Bearcats. They take their first lead of the game. Face off one so cleanly, it's gonna go all the way down onto Key McGinnis. He's just gonna keep things mo moving here. Likes what he sees from his team so far, so he wants to keep the momentum going, even despite being down by one here, but lots of hockey left to play here, folks. McIntyre, the outlet pass through the middle, off the stick there, McDonald. Percival will give chase in a puck race with Parker. Parker able to get there first for the Bearcats, so it's pushed back into the neutral zone as Hopkins swings it back to his D-man. McIntyre on the backhand. Little saucer pass, but Barber's there to intercept that as she leads with her stick and disrupts that puck. Now it's off the back of her skates and back down inside the Bearcat zone. Picked up, tried to center, hits a body and goes in behind. Barber, you see a lot of that from her this game is straight line, hard work in hockey. It's now McDonald, Samuel McDonald. Touches up on the play and a little bit of a late shot there. So you know that the official will have a quick word with the player. And at this age, just a quick uh, mention of what happened there is all you need. The older ages, you're expected to know those things. But at the end of the day, folks, these are just kids. A push forward here. Nelson, partner pass cross for Hoyt. Hoyt up for Kiever. Kiever through the middle. McDonald had a for a moment as Ritzy back out there. Now as it's pushed back, Bulldogs trying to open things up and set it up now and good post down there as he was there for support. McKecker now fires it across. McDonald, Samuel McDonald let that go. Now it's Boyle the goal scorer here for the Andy Ganesh Bulldogs. He's gonna pick it up in behind his own net. Cuts back through the middle, up the left or right side, sorry, to the winger McCory, but Puck isn't able to 
exit the zone, so it's flipped back in here by the Bearcats, approaching the five minute mark now in the first period. Good support there, McEachern able to get himself back, open up, face the puck carry, but the puck bounces over his stick, so Barber able to swing it back to the captain, Hoyt, partner pass there for Withrow. Withrow had a hard time maintaining possession, now it's turned over, dangerous pass, McEachern in front, back through the slot. McCory now, he's upended, Boyle tries to poke it free, and now it's gonna be just outside the line and offside, so play whistle dead here, 4.58 left to go in the first period, and. Quite the game of hockey so far, back and forth action. These two teams going toe to toe here early on this morning. A face off just outside the Bearcats blue line. Barber will tie up and then turns around and Yannick Perrault that puck. And if you're unfamiliar with Yannick Perrault, one of the best face off men in NHL history. The old tie up and kick was his trademark move. Now as McKinnon there had a good head of steam, but a great forecheck there by Geddes. And now it's chipped through the middle. Chisholm over the line. Good job by Boyle to stay on side. Chisholm shot there, block it away by Hutchinson. Rebound comes loose. Chisholm on his own rebound. Barber will lean on the puck carrier there. Back now turned over. Doyle, shot there, tried to go short side. Blocker, Hutchinson with the save. Now push back towards the net here. Four minutes, 15 seconds left to go in the first. Moving up ice for the Bearcats. Not a whole lot of option there. It's being pressed from both sides by the Bulldogs. McKinnon, bank pass off the wall. Boyle tries to chip it in deep. Unable to get it through the Bearcats defense. Now as McKinnon will go skate to stick, cross ice for Boyle, hit his skates on the way to the bench. Now good read by Will Chisholm there. And that's a name we've seen a few times. The Andy Ganesh system for sure. Or my teams are all blending together here. That's a possibility as well. Now as McGinnis here for the Bearcats. Tries to chip it through the middle. Purcell able to come back through on defense and disrupt that. Now as Purcell tries to get by the linesman. Now McDonald. Ethan McDonald in over the line on the right side. The old pull and drag. Toe drag worked, but the puck didn't go with him. As now it's a scrum in front of the net here, up past the top of the circle, just outside the blue line. Now the Bearcats trying to get the red line, a little soft chip down the ice. And they're gonna wave icing off. Right decision there, no Bearcats around, so keep the play going here. Now Ritzy runs into his man unintentionally and he takes a spill. McKay trying to get that puck to Ritzy. Ritzy will find it now in over the blue line on the one hand. Ritzy tries to cut back, but Bulldogs have seen enough of him so far now as Ritzy knocks that one down just enough. Puck's gonna stay inside the zone. Good job there by McDaniel as he thought about going up the strong side. Saw the Bearcats jersey there, so went back across the weak side. Tried to give his team an opportunity to win a puck race as they battle for it down there. In the right corner, centered out front for McKay. He's gonna get a stick on it. Good diving play there by the Bulldogs defense as they're back the other way here. Two and a half left to go in the first frame. Ritzy, nice move there, the old shimmy shammy and in deep. As he'll head for a change and that one made me a little bit dizzy. Good reverse play there off the stick of Warren Murphy and that's a high IQ play. I know I talked about that a lot and Chisholm, nice move past Barber, another move past Barber. Barber said, okay, I'm gonna pivot now and keep you out front. There's a cross ice pass there, a shot there and Hutchinson got a piece of it, it goes wide. In behind the net now, centered. Puck comes loose, Murphy will hold the line at the last second. Down the left side, looking for an angle to the net. Shot there, puck comes loose. They look for it in the crease. And nothing's gonna come of this as both teams will get out of dodge here. Down in front as you have a look there at the goaltender, Henry Hutchinson. For the Trail Bearcats, U11 AA. Minute 52, left to go here in the first period. Cameraman is absolutely dialed in this morning. A Timmy's coffee in him and Amazing what a Tim Hortons will do here for, for a fella. As Hoyt now moves it up to Beasley. Beasley will chip off the wall. Barber in there. No stranger to the rough stuff. And sky's the limit for a lot of these players for sure. Purcell gets it in deep. McDonald though front. Hopkins trying to center it. Barber down there. She's all tied up. Another player takes a spill down there. Two on two in the defensive corner. Minute 17 left to go here. Shot towards the net, onto the stick there. Shot through a crowd, Hutchinson with the initial save. Puck still loose in the crease. 
And now it's gonna be cleared here by the Bearcats. One on two the other way with a back checker. In over the line now, Max Beasley on McDonald. Beasley taken down there, play continues. McIntyre will chip that up and over. That puck will get outside the zone. Sticks flying everywhere is down there. The intensity really picking up here at the end of the period. Last minute to play. With throw back inside his own blue line. He's gonna loop around and look for his options. Sees the player streaking there, so a nice pass off the wall. McGinnis, these players already at better at geometry than I ever was. There's Lehman, 55. Through the middle for Wood. Wood had a hard time with it. Now it's his poke free. McEachern. That's Easton McEachern. Down low. Still battling despite being on his knees. Now is Boyle in there. The goal score here for the Bulldogs. Centers it there and just through the feet. And back the other way. A potential last couple second chance here for the Bearcats. Lehman just going to get that in deep and give Chase 15 seconds left to go here in the first period. McIntyre back for the Bulldogs. One hand on the stick. Chips it up the wall. He's just going to keep going. Now McEachern back. But Lehman did the full loop and was able to pick that puck back up. Now is another bank pass off the wall coming. Bulldogs just inside their own zone. Samuel McDonald up ice. McEachern's gonna have to rip it and try to at the last second, but that will do it here for the first period. The Truro Bearcats lead the Antigonish Bulldogs two to one. We'll be back with the second period when we return. Ladies and gentlemen, just like that, back second period action live here from St. FX. A Charles V. Keating Arena. Took me a minute to remember what the actual name was. Seen so many rinks here in the last couple weeks. As back to game action we go, the Bulldogs are gonna get that in deep here as they switch sides. Naturally in hockey, that's what they do. Didn't need to explain that to you folks at home, I'm sure. Now as Ritzy's gonna pick that up in full swing. Nice move there under the stick of Chisholm. Ritzy down the left side. Chip through the middle, back door. The shot there from McKay and he fanned on and he's gonna want that one back, but something tells me he'll have another chance here this game. Now as the Bulldogs back the other way in transition. Great job to pick that up on the backhand. Chisholm drops that front shoulder, drives to the net. Good job by Kiever to get a stick on that as he disrupted things enough to get that puck wide. Chisholm in behind the net, Kiever in there as well. Lots of room in behind these nets here at the St. FX Arena. McKinnon now is gonna drag to the middle, shot there, tipped, hits a couple bodies on the way, doesn't make its way to the net. Now, Doyle now tries to wrap around and he buries it. Looks like Bryce Boyle on the wrap around. And 43 seconds into the second period and the Bulldogs are back to even. A sneaky play there from Boyle. Will get his team Back to even ground here with the Bearcats. So 2-2 the score now. Beasley came sliding through. Now Barber with a quick break the other way. Backhand pass through the middle for Geddes. Shot there, oh, and looks like Key McGinnis just got a little piece of that, enough to keep that out of the net. And that's the name of the game down there in the crease, folks. Doesn't matter how, just matters how many. Shot there, blocked on the way. McDaniel up the wall for McDonald. On the left side, he's gonna carry through the neutral zone. Barber blew a tire, now nice backhand saucer pass, pretty advanced play now, Purcell, shot there, that was blocked. Hoyt, the captain, sacrificing the body here early on this morning. He's gonna make his way up ice. McDonald on the back check there, what an effort from McDonald. Now back the other way. McCory couldn't get free. Wood tries to chip it to himself. Turned over. Bulldogs are offside, so they're just going to chip it in deep. It's going to get by Nelson. Puck race here. Side of the net. Opportunity shot there. Hutchinson to save the rebound. It is smothered up by Henry Hutchinson. As he was able to stay strong on the bottom half of that net and keep this game deadlocked at two. So 2-1 over at the other arena. 
They gave us the Otatown in town scoreboard. So it's 2 1, Crushers Red. And back up the ice goes Lehman. Lehman. Shot on net, save made, rebound comes loose. Bearcats back on the four check. It's going to come out to the point. Hodgkinson just going to soft chip that in deep in the corner. Good smart play there. And safety first here for the Bearcats. 12.43 left to go here in the second period. Shot there with throw. Gets through and goes through the high slot, but nobody able to get a stick on it. Wood, backhand chance. Picked off by Murphy. Murphy's just going to head up ice now. Good getaway sticks there from a dead stop. Three on two forming here for the Bulldogs, but now it's a two on three. Murphy down right through Broadway, able to get through traffic. Now he's got the puck. Now he's going to have to be careful. There's the McKay came from the bench. Murphy showing off the skill set here. And now it's tipped to front, an opportunity in the crease. Backhand shot. Hutchinson closes up the pillows and makes a save and covers it up here. These two goaltenders going toe to toe here this morning. We have another look there at Henry Hutchinson. A little camera time there, and that's what happens when you're on the ball. The face off to Hutchinson's left, our right. It's taken by the Bearcats. They're going to just chip that to Kiever. Kiever tries to go off the wall. He will. Now he'll chip it to himself again. McIntyre will pinch down from the right side blue line to hold the puck in. He's going to take away that lane on the wall. Now he'll intercept it. Down the wall continues on. McIntyre. That's Wyatt McIntyre. Chips it down low. Dwyer had that puck picked off his stick now as Ritzy fires it through the middle for Kiever. Kiever back checked hard there. Now Chisholm comes back here with speed. Back the other way. Cuts back to the middle. Chisholm into the middle of the ice. Back to the forehand. Shot there. Hutchinson save. Rebound comes loose. It's Parker with it. Got Dwyer on him. Now McKay trying to find that loose puck with McDonald will get it, but now McKay will turn it over. Puck's held in though at the line. Good job by the Bulldogs as they stayed strong at the offensive blue line to hold that puck inside. Smith now had to dangle the ref. Now it's going to be pushed towards the net. A little bit of confusion down there. Puck's in the slot. Another opportunity as that goes wide. Chipped off the wall. McIntyre once again activates from the point. I don't know. They battle away. Bodies flying. Pa parents wanted a penalty there. They're not going to get it. Purcell right down the line. From the point, shot there, that gets tipped, that goes wide, back the other way, McKay able to find that puck. Now is McDonald got a piece of that, maybe a ball player, and if not, maybe time to give it a shot. McIntyre, it's gonna be offside on the play, so if the Bulldogs touch up, which now they're safe to go as they've touched up now and back on side. Purcell tried to fire that over, Barber almost turned it over. She's gonna slot back in the defensive position. Gonna run into Purcell there. Now a shot there, rebound, oh! And now there's gonna be a penalty here on the Bearcats. And it's gonna be a tripping call and we'll see who it's against. It's gonna be against number 15, Max Beasley. Is no complaints out of him. And in the meantime, you'll see Beasley down there in the penalty box. We once again thank you very much for tuning in early this morning. We hope you're enjoying the broadcast. And from the comfort of your own home, folks, that's the name of the game, especially on a day like today, a rainy, windy Sunday morning. And you just plop yourself down on that coach or your chair, whatever your favorite seat is, and enjoy the game here. But it looks like Lehman's going to be... If you're watching from somewhere, feel free to hit us up in the comments. We like to interact with the fans at home, where you're watching from, who you're watching. It's got a couple of the dads down here on the right side working on their fast pitch release. Got to stay sharp any opportunity you can. Face off one here by the Bulldogs on the power play now. McKinnon. Or Opportunity shot there, block it away, Hutchinson. Rebound comes loose on that loose puck. Now on the 10 minute mark here. In behind the net, good battle behind, looking to center it. It's gonna go back up to the point there. Will Chisholm, shot there, looking for a deflection, maybe at the side of the net, wasn't able to find a stick. So now it's shot towards the net. Opportunity at the side, and another save by Hutchinson as he hugged that post. Geddes turned it over. 
Boyle walks across the top. He's going to fire a shot there. That goes wide. That puck had eyes, but wasn't able to find the net. He's back up to the point. Down the left point. Tees up a slap shot. Oh, what a block there. And that stung, folks. And Geddes right back to the feet and to the bench. And that is going to get some serious admiration from myself up here as that puck's going to be pushed down the ice for icing. And what a sacrificial play as McKinnon just absolutely walked into a laser. And Geddes able to get in that lane, laboring on the bench there, but back to the feet and right back to the bench. And, and we're gonna go with old school hockey on that one as goaltender Hutchinson, probably a big fan of that. That's a scary moment for the parents though, folks. I get that, but what a great play there. The team game and you gotta be willing to do whatever it takes for the person beside you. And they showed that there on that one. He's now back inside the Anaganish zone we go. Work back around the outlet pass now. Chipped off the wall, Will Chisholm. That's gonna hit Liney right in the stripes. Get the red line, they're gonna try and get it deep. Good job to stay on side there, but it's picked off by Hoyt. Captain Hoyt out into the neutral zone. Spun back by McKinnon. McKinnon's got Ritzy on him. Now in over the line. Good, look at this getaway speed there. Right from a dead stop now, and they're just gonna let that one go. Ritzy got tied up. That's going to be dumped down the ice here. That'll kill off some precious seconds. 15 seconds left to go here in the man advantage as Beasley back to his feet, eager to get back onto the surface. Now is McDaniel, the little breakaway speed, but had that puck poked off the stick. Good job there. Murphy, opportunity, shot there. He scores! Warren Murphy with two seconds left on the power play will give the Bulldogs... The lead here, three to two, 8.23 left to go in the second period. And Murphy picked up a loose puck just inside the blue line. Hutchinson made the initial save or got a piece of it anyways and just wasn't able to fully corral it. So Andy Ganesh will get their second lead here of the game, three to two now. Back to center ice we go. Oh, that'll go down as a power play goal now as the Bulldogs will take it right off the ensuing face off and they're just gonna get right back to work here. McDonald, nice drag move down the right side. Shot there and oh my, off the ding dong up top. As you heard the ping from here, it's now back to the point. McDaniel, shot there, through a crowd, tip. Puck's loose in front, they bang away at it, still loose. Good job by Hodgkinson to get that puck out to the blue line at least, but it's held in. Now poked away, Murphy onto the backhand there, gets a lot of it and gets that in deep. Somebody's been working on their shot here this season. As now McDonald throws a huge hit there and a chance out front there. What a save, Hutchinson. They needed that one. So it's all Andy Ganesh right now since that power play. Murphy, good job by Purcell here. That should be noted as he slotted back in to take the defensive position for his defender that jumped in the play. Now good hustle there. McDaniel able to hold the line. McDaniel on the back end, pulls it back to the forehand. Puck comes down to the half wall. They look for it now. Into the middle, Hopkins tried to slide it to his teammate and now good job there by Murphy. Strong on that stick with one hand, able to hold the line, dumps it back in deep. It's one of the Bulldogs head for a change. So McCory came flying in there. Murphy, another opportunity to shoot there, another block. It's Kiever now, shot there, that goes wide. McDonald on the loose puck here for the Bulldogs. Tries to wheel it in behind the net. Works around, back up to Murphy. Murphy shot there, tip, nice save Hutchinson. He didn't see it till the last second. So Wood just trying to get that puck out, but unable to get it by the defenders here. The Bulldogs, they're just holding that blue line. And now that's gonna be off the stick of Murphy. He's gonna wheel it back now through the neutral zone. Nice move down the right side, in over the line there. Four on two. Murphy as far as a back door to Boyle. Shot there, blocker save as Hutchinson was already down in the butterfly, potentially thinking there was a shot coming. Get us back out there. The fire that cross ice, bodies flying everywhere right now. McIntyre without his twig. Boyle, poke that puck free. Now they fight for it at the blue line. McEachern bumps into his man. Chipped up the wall, McKay wasn't able to get that puck outside the zone, so it goes back in, but I'll only momentarily now as it's gonna be ripped back down inside the zone. Icing waved off. Now Hodgkinson's just going to send that the length of the ice. We'll see if it has enough, le enough legs for icing, and it will. So the Bearcats will be charged with an icing here. Great pressure there from the Bulldogs here. 5.59 left to go here in the second period. This one buzzing right along. End-to-end -end action, folks. 
safe to say that hockey's in pretty good hands after watching this and got to see a couple of the games throughout the weekend when I wasn't doing my own games away, but pretty electric hockey if you ask me. These kids ready to move on to the next level and if not, ready to play another year here and shot there from the point. Is smothered up by Hutchinson. He corrals that rebound. So 3-2 here for the Bulldogs, the home team in this game. And the home team of the tournament, quite frankly, as they've hosted this and the U-15s. Now is a shot there, block it away, Hutchinson. Deflects that into the corner, Beasley blows a tire. Barber just tries to throw a pick there long enough to get that puck outside the zone, but the Bulldogs are able to maintain possession down low. Looking for a pass out front, tried to center it. They do onto the backhand there, good play by Beasley. Come back out and help out, Barber. Diving for that puck, now the puck will find Geddes. Boyle and Geddes tangle up. Chisholm, their shot, that was kicked away by Hutchinson. Boyle once again just gonna get that in deep just past the cold stream sign there. Trying to pass out front. Frazier able to get a stick on it. Barber in absolutely magnificent defensive position there between the puck carrier and the net. The defensive side as they call it folks as Hutchinson will redirect that one into the corner. The Bearcats unable to get the puck out of the zone and now looks like they might. Smith had that roll off the stick. McDonald trying to get the line now. Hopkins had that bounce away. Barber left it there for Beasley. Beasley trying to go right down the middle. McDonald had that poked off the stick. McIntyre, a little saucer, hand, saucer pass backhand. Good job by McDonald. Stay on side. He's going to fire that. That was right into Smith and Smith. That one hurt. McDonald, another opportunity. Tipped in front with a save. Hutchinson rebounds loose. Backhand. That goes wide. Oh, and it's tipped on net by Ritzy, but a desperation dive from Hutchinson allows him to make that save. And now Smith blocked that shot, and that one hurt right away. The glove came off almost immediately. Something tells me it hit just on the inside of that palm there where your hand meets the stick. And let me tell you, folks, when you get that pinch between the hand and the stick with a shot, it hurts a lot. Happened to me a couple times in my hockey career, years and years back now, and you don't even realize because your hands are so cold, but by the time you take your glove off, sometimes you got a cut or a bruise or whatever the case may be, but players are going to be instructed to head back to their bench. Smith still down. Coach having to check in on him. He's moving around down there, so block shots, win games, as they say. Trill's going to use this for a teaching moment. We'll get the cameraman to get right in there for you. See if we can see what the play's drawn up. As you see there, now Smith back to his feet and a great appreciation from the fans here as a block shot on, stings a little bit more on a Sunday morning. Great job by the coaches to recognize here and use this moment as the Bearcats have been hemmed in their zone for the last little bit. And looks like we got ourselves a birthday boy, according to that sign. Mr. Bryce Boyle's got himself a goal. He's another year around the sun. And what better way to spend your birthday, folks, than in the rink in a semifinal matchup here in the playoffs. So happy birthday, Mr. Bryce Boyle. And I hope you continue to travel this hockey career and have as much fun as you look like you're having out here for the rest of it. So back to game play now. Faceoff stays inside the Bearcat zone. McKinnon able to pinch down. He's just going to rim that back around the other side. Ritzy and Hoyt, a little miscommunication. Now it's going to be turned over. Hoyt kind of looks skyward after that pass. Wasn't a big fan of his own play. Now is McKay. He's going to be able to chip that outside the zone. But Hopkins back through the middle. These Bulldogs back checking with a purpose here. Back through the middle. Trying to find an open man or a lane where they could win a puck race. As McDonald in over the line. He tries to shoot one there as Hoyt got in the way. Over to Chisholm, that was a dangerous pass now as Ritzy gets tangled up with McCory. Ritzy still banging away at it though, even on his feet. McDonald, little toe drag, had that poked off his stick. Into the middle now, McCory tried to get a shot off, wasn't able to, 3.40 left to go here in the second. Cross ice pass, Ritzy, gonna make his way up ice. He's got both goals here for the Bearcats. He's just gonna eat some ice and wait for his teammates. Now he's gonna cut through the middle. Ritzy, bobbing and weaving through the middle. Shot there, tried to go low blocker and just missed wide. So he was looking for the Hattie here. And I'll be honest with you folks, if he gets a Hattie, I'm probably gonna throw my high button two coat there. Good marketing, but also a little gift for the old boy. And now it's turned over. 
Chipped up into through the middle. So they continue to bang away at it there in front of the Bearcats bench. Approaching the two and a half minute mark now. So it's all tangled up. Now Ritzy with it. Ritzy drag, shoots there, it gets tipped by Chisholm and up and over the net. Down over the line, Chisholm, and that was whistled on the offside, but Chisholm got the shot off late. So the faceoff's gonna come back outside the line. Pardon me. <coughs> Sorry if you heard that, folks. Boyle with it. That birthday boy will get it in deep. It's Hodgkinson back for it. He's got Dwyer on him. Picked up now, centered out front for Boyle. As Tristan Chisholm got that through. Chisholm will get it on the four check. Hodgkinson, good job there to lean. Or sorry, that's Withrow. Back up ice now for the Bearcats. McGinnis looking for the options, just gonna get it in deep, just inside the blue line though, so not as far as they would have liked. Withrow will wheel back towards his own zone. But Hodgkinson. Open there on the right side, goes up the strong side to McGinnis. McGinnis tries to go through the middle, turned over. On the backhand, they drag, shot there, and they got a lot of it, another rebound. Still loose side of the net, good job by McGinnis. As he came back to help out defensively. Another shot there, they score! <laughs> Oliver McKinnon with an absolute laser through a crowd, and he's gonna double the Bulldogs lead. Sorry folks, that was Ty McDaniel. As you're probably thinking, no, that's not Chisholm. But nonetheless, a four to two lead for the Bulldogs here with a minute 38 left to go in the second period. And pucks on net, folks. Pucks in deep. All that jazz at the end of the day, it's a simple game. As now the Bulldogs will get a two goal lead as Purcell now is just gonna get right in on the four check. Parker gets tangled up with him now. Centering pass Hopkins. Pushed away out of harm's way. Through the middle now, Ritzy. Down the left side, he's gonna eat some more ice. Ritzy stops up, nice move there. Now a little head fake tripped up there. There's gonna be a delayed penalty as McDonald got the stick in the feet. And Ritzy with those head fakes caused a little bit of confusion down there and got himself into some free space, but he's tripped up. And so Ethan McDonald is gonna sit for two, maybe less. Now the Bearcats looking to cut into this lead here. Two goal lead, worst lead in hockey, says the experts. Not sure who the experts are, but that's what they say anyway. So Ritzy's gonna take this draw here. Wood's gonna be right behind him, and now actually Wood's gonna take the draw. So Wood gave Ritzy the boot and said, I'm 95% in the faceoff dot pal, so I'm gonna take this draw, and he does win it. Now walking the line is Hoyt. He'll leave it there for Ritzy. Ritzy. To get the puck back now, the top of the circle. Nice pull move. Last minute to play here in the second period. Ritzy back up to the point. Hodgkinson. Hodgkinson down low. Seam pass for Ritzy. Ritzy on the back end. He tries to walk to the net. Good defense there as the Bearcats unable to penetrate the scoring zone here. The puck will come up to the blue line. Good job there, Hodgkinson. Good awareness to realize he wasn't able to gonna, wasn't gonna be able to get that with the stick. So now Ritzy down low in behind the net. He's gonna walk out wide now, flings it back to Hoyt at the left point. Hoyt, partner pass for Hodgkinson. Hodgkinson's gonna fire that on the net. Ritzy was coming there, but he was heading there late. So that's gonna be dumped down the ice all the way down onto Hutchinson. He'll leave it there as he quick turned around and had a peek there while the puck was still in front of him. Not something you see too often. Ritzy looking for that stretch pass there, but McIntyre turns it over. Ritzy through the crowd, tries to get free. He's upended now, Hoyt. Gonna have to wait to get back on side and just at the last second, Ritzy with the diving effort to get back on side, but wasn't able to do it in time. So the play whistled on the offside, 10 seconds even left to go here in the second frame. Not sure if they do a flood or not. But you would think by now if they were going to, the Zamboni doors would be open, but I'm wrong all the time folks and will continue to be. So maybe one last opportunity here, Ritzy down the right side, he's tripped up and they're just gonna let them play here as that's gonna be whistled on the offside here once again, 1.2 seconds left on the clock. And a, another offside here at the line and 
Gonna come back outside the blue line now. So not a whole lot of time to do much. The puck's gonna be dropped and that is gonna do it here for the second period, folks. Four to two lead for the Antigonish Bulldogs over the Turo Bearcats here. We'll head to the intermission. We'll get a flood and we'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes time for third period action, folks. And we are in for quite the finish, so don't go anywhere.
All right, folks, welcome back here. Charles B. Keating Arena. Beautiful Andy Ganesh, Nova Scotia U11 playoff semi-final action between the Andy Ganesh Bulldogs and the Churro Bearcats. The Bulldogs lead this one four to two here going into the third period. And the Bearcats will start the third period on the power play. Once again, if you're just joining us, my name is Matt Dudley alongside Mr. Tyson Alders. So we get underway here in the third period, a two goal deficit for the Bearcats looking to capitalize here on the power play as that pass is gonna get up over everybody. And now towards the net there, Hutchinson still on the pipes. Here for the Bearcats. And actually it looks like now they only have the one goaltender, so that makes a whole lot of sense, folks. Back the other way, Ritzy. Gonna get that puck in deep, didn't have a lane to the net, so he chips it in. I'm gonna give Chase now as he'll get on the puck, looking for it here. McKay. Five seconds left, the man advantage. Ritzy cuts back, now shot there with a save from Key McGinnis now as the rebound comes loose as McKay unable to corral back to even strength as McDonald re-enters the surface. 15 minutes up on the board and 15 miles, 15 smiles as they used to say. Not sure if they still go by that saying now. Cross ice pass there, McKay just ahead of him. That's not gonna have enough for icing and I guess it will now as I stand corrected once again up here in the booth. So back down to the Bearcat zone we go and unable to capitalize there on that man advantage. And sometimes it's in that weird spot of finishing the period on the power play and then maybe having some momentum and then that intermission kind of messes with your juju a little bit. Not saying that is the case, but there is potential for that. The face off down to the left of Hutchinson. Barber spins, turns, and she'll win that face off cleanly as she knew the assignment. Beasley unable to get that puck free. Now it's tipped out front off the top of the net there as Hopkins didn't mean to tip it. But it went off him. Now is Hopkins with it. Backhand pass out front looking for Purcell. But Beasley slots down from the wing position and is able to pick that puck up and head back the other way. Beasley on the right side. Red line's going to get that deep and going to try and get in on the forecheck now is Geddes. Will Chisholm able to pick that up. Rims it around. Hopkins unable to crowl. Just outside the blue line now is... The Andy Ganesh players run into each other here. It's 3-3 over in the other rink there, folks. Picto County Crushers red and Picto County Crushers white. That's a mouthful, but it's a back and forth game, I'm being told, as the teams keep tying it up. It's that stretch pass there for McDonald. McDonald used white tape, but has so much wax on it that it looks red. Now as they try and fire that towards the net. Beasley turned it over, McKinnon. Gonna walk in, back in, down low. Shot there off the side of the net there and kind of duped the fans a little bit. They might have thought that one was in as well as us up here in the booth. Centering pass, Chisholm couldn't get it off in time. It's a great centering pass here. Withrow trying to come through. Now it's attempted clearing. He's held in at the line, Chisholm. Passes it out front, shot there. Another save, Hutchinson, pucks loose. Now centering once again. We're on hat trick watch here, folks, for the birthday boil. Oh, that worked out well. I tried to say birthday boy, but boil, so birthday boil it is. Now Chisholm, shot there, side of the net. Rebound, still loose, sitting in the slot. They bang away at it. Official in perfect position. Now it's going to be sent the length of the ice. It's not going to be enough, though. Now is Murphy. He's going to pick that puck up. Bearcats heading for a change through the middle. And that's going to be picked up by Brody Boyle. And chipped in deep. Parker back for it here for the Bearcats. Nice move there, McEachern tried to get free. Kiever now with it. He's got McKay cross ice. McDaniel with a goal already in this game is gonna get that towards the net. Hutchinson make the save and the rebound comes loose and McCory came hum firing into there to the crease and got tripped up. We'll check on the road to town scoreboard even though it's just right across the road and it's 3-3. Still, so in the second intermission there, so they're just a bit behind us here at the Charles V. Keating. Now back the other way. Up the ice now, Ritzy cuts back to the middle. Shot there, tried to go glove side, and that one goes wide as Ritzy takes a tumble after the shot there. Shot it so hard, knocked himself over. Now he'll turn the puck over. Picked up, Warren Murphy in behind the net. 
Up the wall, you can hear the coach yelling go. He wants him to move his feet there. Ritzy turns it over. Good job by McKay to get back on side. Ritzy pulling drag there, poked off the stick by Murphy. Murphy doing it on both sides of the puck here. He's gonna pick it up behind his own net. He's gonna try and get away from that four checker. Murphy looking for his options. Doesn't have one, so he's just gonna carry it now. Just get the red line and get it inside the blue line. Now they fight for it at the side of the net. McDonald looking for that loose puck. A shot there from the point, and glove saved by Hutchinson as he'll hang on. So 10.47 left to go here in the third period. As previously mentioned, a winner here will punch their ticket to the big dance at one o'clock over at the Antigonish Arena and they'll face one of the Pictou County Crushers teams. And one hell of a tournament here so far as these players absolutely spending everything they got. Multiple games a day now as they try and center. Hoyt able to get that loose puck, rims it around the other side. McGinnis now is gonna pick it up on the right side, pass through the middle looking for Lehman there, but it's turned over once again. Hopkins gonna get it in deep, Purcell in on the four check. Hoyt will spin off the four checker. Good job, stops and starts down there instead of the big Boeing 747 turn as they used to call it when I played. Back the other way, Lehman. One on one with a back checker. Look at the back check there from McIntyre as he just did not give up on that play. Now as Lehman will get that in deep. McGinnis is gonna give chase. He's just gonna wheel it in behind the net there, ran into the end wall now. Chisholm down to help out. Takes a little bit of a bump there as Lehman in on the four check now. Tries to center it. The Bulldogs in perfect defensive position there was Boyle. Now in all alone is Chisholm. Hutchinson's just gonna corral that one and smother it up there as he had a hot, a white jersey hot on the scene. And well, Macarena coming over the speaker here. So it takes a village to make these tournaments run, folks. And we wanna give a shout out to the organizing committee and the volunteers here. Early mornings, late nights, giving these kids the best possible experience here in Antigonish. And what a great town to have it in as they love their hockey here. And we'll be back here in a couple of weeks, folks, for the U15 Major Provincial. So if you see us at the rink, feel free to stay high. And if you don't wanna do that, that's fine as well. It's Hutchinson now. Cross ice pass, looking for the stick of Beasley, able to get a stick on it now. Boyle tried to get it free. McKinnon will spin off a four checker. He'll spin back up the other way down the left side and over the blue line. McKinnon's just gonna fire that in deep in behind the goal. Geddes on it, Chisholm there as well. Pinned up against the end wall. Couple of the players here making their way up into the broadcast booth. Barber. Gonna push that through, she gets tangled up. And now she's all knotted up now as Barbara will give a little bit of a snow shower there. She'll turn around and have a look there. She just couldn't get through the traffic. And she was off to the races there, but a great play just to poke that free and not try and carry that puck because that's kind of where you get slowed up. So Ritzy. And McDonald on the draw. Ritzy just tries to go forward. Ends up going to the Bulldogs. That's chipped off the wall. Three white jerseys on the one side, so that's puck support if I've ever seen it, folks. So McKay just trying to keep it low. He'll do so. Eight and a half left to go here. Keever will activate. Going to go back up top to the point. Smith, shot there, tipped. That goes wide as McKay on that loose puck. Going to go back down low, just to the feet of Ritzy now. Back the other way. Keever, shot towards the net there, and Key McGinnis able to make the save. And Ritzy had to dodge a few fists there on the way through as they got a last minute whack there. The face off's gonna come to the right of the goaltender here for the Bulldogs. Defensive zone face off with a two goal lead. Nelson will get that off the ensuing face off. It's pushed up ice. Purcell chipped it to himself. He's gonna get the red line. In over the blue line now, tries to get a deep, he'll spin away from the back checker, Ritzy. Now into the crease area and puck comes loose, still loose down there, dangerously. Now it's pushed into the corner. Out of harm's way, McDonald down there, working hard in the corner. Kiever down there, comes away with that puck. Pushed up the wall, Murphy. Able to get that puck down deep. Now Ritzy's just gonna try and wheel it the other way. He wants to go coast to coast here. Nice one touch or one hand pass to McKay. McKay unable to corral. 
Back up the left side. Ritzy tried to intercept that one. Now McKay once again through the middle looking for Ritzy. You could hear him screaming from here. Ritzy in the middle. Cuts back there and what a great back check there by Hopkins as he was able to get back there and disrupt things. And now the Bearcats trying to get broken out inside their own zone. Hoyt. Up through the middle, turned over, Dwyer's got to wait for his teammates to get back on side. A little confusion there with McDaniel, but Dwyer's able to get the puck and get it in deep. Tristan Chisholm on the four check. He's going to come away with that puck, centers it. Oh, front looking for Boyle. Shot there, and that goes up and over the net off the stick of Murphy. Now Dwyer in on the four check. Puck comes loose. Bulldogs able to get possession. Back the other way, McKay through the middle, looking for Wood. But Murphy there to intercept once again as he'll get that puck just inside the Bearcat zone. He'll head for a change there as Hoyt. It's pressed there from Chisholm. Chisholm not going to go anywhere is that easily. Now as he pins him up against the wall and good battle down there in the corner. That's those shadow drills that you do in practice where you get one guy to carry the puck and the other one to just shadow every movement. It looks like they've been working on that quite a bit now as they got it pinned up against the end wall. So we'll get a closer look at that now as the whistle came to the official's lips there for a sec but pulled away now. Chisholm centering pass there looking for Boyle. Comes back to the point, McDonald, down low. Chisholm in the left corner, unable to corral that, so Nelson's able to get it for the Bearcats and fling it around the other side. Turned over by the Bulldogs. Back the other way, Lehman trying to get on that loose puck. Now it's back inside the zone, the Bulldogs are gonna have to touch up here, but Hoyt now away for the Bearcats. Hoyt, down the right side, being pressed from the min inside lane, so he's gonna get it deep. It's McDonald back. Boyle, cross ice pass. Picked up by McCory. McCory in over the line, cross the top of the circles there. A shot there, he scores! Matthew McCory with a celly to the home crowd. And he gives the Bulldogs a three goal lead here in the semifinals with four or 5.49 left to go in the third period. A much steeper hill to climb now for this Bearcats team, but they definitely have it in them. We're able to get some pucks to the net here. So 5-2 lead here for the Bulldogs. Just over five minutes left to play. And you know they can taste the victory here now, but they still have to get through the final six minutes or so. And you know these Bearcats team are just gonna scratch and claw all the way, and we'll see if the dog will outlast the cat here in this game. So that's gonna be shot the length of the ice. Icing waved off as it's not gonna have near enough to get down there for icing as Hodgkinson's back for it. He's just gonna wheel it through the neutral zone. To the left, now to the middle, back to the left side, in over the line, hooked up. Gonna continue on down the wall. Good job down there, center Barber opportunity. Puck goes back to Withrow at the point. A shot there, that gets blocked. McDonald, and now we're gonna have a penalty. And it's gonna go to the Bulldogs here. Two minutes for hooking. And it's gonna go to Jacob Hopkins down there. So two minutes or less for hooking. 5.08 left to go. Eleven fifty-two into the third period. Now is a centering pass there for the Bearcats. A shot that was blocked. Chisholm sacrificial play. And now it's gonna be sent the length of the ice and that's gonna get all the way down there as Hutchinson kind of thought about coming out for it. But now Hodgkinson, Hodgkinson and Hutchinson, most full down there in the Bearcats end. Now is a errant pass, he'll get away from everybody. Will Chisholm will turn, fire that towards the net. That gets pushed to the side. Hoyt now trying to get free, but the Bulldogs are just gonna continue on here. Despite being down a man, just gonna push and push and push and keep that puck 200 feet from their net. Now is McKay. Back check hard there by McDonald, so he's gonna chip that in deep. Now Ritzy in on it first. Ritzy on the back end, he'll swing it up to the point. Have to be careful here as Dwyer was hot on the scene. Ritzy now, hash marks, centering pass, Wood, opportunity shot there, he scores! Braden Wood cuts the lead to two on the power play as he got a point blank opportunity in front and made absolutely no mistake. And as I just said folks, these Bearcats aren't going anywhere just yet. This game can be flipped on its side at any moment. 4.21 left to go here in the third period. So back to center ice we go. That's a 4-4 tie over there now at the Antigonish Arena. So that game, a 
more resembling a ping pong match back and forth as Chisholm fires out on the net and that's gonna find a hole through Hutchinson and in the back of the net and a tough break there for the young netminder and you know he's gonna want that one back so uh, a four goal lead restored here or sorry the three goal lead restored here for the Bulldogs math was never my thing folks so six to three now, Andy Ganesh as we go back to center ice. So we'll wait for the official call on that one. It looks like it was gonna go to Hopkins there. Or sorry, it's not updated quite yet. There's, they're still getting the Bearcats goal up. Now Murphy able to get that puck inside the blue line approaching the three and a half minute mark. Now Chisholm had to be careful there as he got the stick up on the cross check. So Tristan Chisholm will get a goal there and unassisted as he gave his team the three goal lead back here late in the third period. Boyle tries to fire it at the net. McCory looking for that loose puck as well as McIntyre. McIntyre got a stick up near the earload there, and now Murphy's just gonna wheel it as Bearcat's getting caught on a change. Murphy into the slot, shot there oh, off the post there as he absolutely let that one fire and got a good shot off, but wasn't able to beat the old buddy of Hutchinson there, the post. Boyle's just gonna chip it back down inside. Hodgkinson almost turned it over. Good job by McEachern. If you saw there in your screen, led with the stick, kind of took away that passing option. Now is another move, Purcell tried to get free. Back the other way, Barber, nice pass there for Ritzy. Ritzy got tangled up in his own skates and took a tumble there. Two and a half left to go here in the third period. Puck comes out to the blue line. Nelson tries to keep it in, but McDonald is back the other way. McDonald, an opportunity shot there, blocker save. As Hutchinson kept that one out of the back of the net now. Through the middle, Ritzy. That puck's gonna go all the way down onto McIntyre. Key, Key McGinnis is gonna Hang on to that one and covered up as he had Ritzy barreling towards the crease. So 2.23 left to go here, folks, in this one. Win, move on, lose, and your weekend ends. For some reason, it hurts me a lot more to say at this age group, but this is the playoffs, folks, and these teams are here to win as much as they are to have fun and develop. They are here to win as well, and you know, Darn well that that's what they're talking about down there in the dressing room. Don't have to tell you folks. Face off taken here by the Bulldogs. Now it's gonna be pushed out, Chisholm with it, back the other way, he's got Boyle with him, a two on three, now is Chisholm with a good head of steam, down the left side. He's gonna work down low, stops up there. Fires it back down low. Rimmed around the other side, Beasley unable to get there in time now as the Antigonish player blows a tire, back the other way, one on one, Beasley. Down the left side, tripped up there into the wall and play continues here. So keep an eye on the goaltender now as a shot there through a crowd, gets tipped in front, Key. McGinnis looking for it, still loose. Nobody can find it, puck does come free now. Another shot, hits a body in front, McIntyre on his bottom in the crease, puck still loose. Oh, dangerously pushed away from the goal as now Hodgkinson back for the Bearcats. 90 seconds left to go here in the third period. The Bulldogs can feel it now. It's back the other way. Back inside the line, that's just touched up by McGinnis and that's gonna be offside on the play. We thank you guys for tuning in here. This live High Button Sports live stream. The UAA, U11AA playoffs here. The Andy Ganesh Bulldogs looking to hang on here and give themselves an opportunity to win a playoffs. As Ritzy tried to pull and shoot that there as he had the angle but wasn't able to pull the shot off or execute, I guess, if you will. Now as it's dangerous play there, McEachern will fire that cross ice. Nice saucer pass over everybody. McCory, good safe play there as he's able to get the red line and get it deep. We're into the last minute of play here. Up the ice, Smith. Looking for his options. Over to Geddes. Geddes had that turned over. McDonald 
in over the line to the forehand. Still with it. Shot there, hit the side of the net there. Takes a tumble in behind the net. Smith able to clear the rebound. 35 seconds left to go here in the third period. Pass out front. Purcell looking for McDonald. Puck gets poked free. Geddes now. Smith as well. Geddes throws a hit. Four bodies down there, and now the going to have a wrestling match down there at the side of the net. Referee right on sight, and it's just going to police that. Now is Lehman over the line. Shot there. That was tipped up off the glass. McDonald just getting back to his feet now. Ten seconds left to go here in the third period. The stick bang and starts for the Bulldogs. Barber, she's going to pick it up and head the other way. Down the right side. One hand on the stick. Five seconds left to go. She tips it in deep. We're going to have a penalty here to Hopkins, but it's not going to mean anything. It is now with .3 seconds left on the clock. The Bulldogs are going to go to the penalty box here. Hopkins is just going to head there with no stick. and doesn't seem to be phased too much with that one. But that will pretty much do it here, folks. The Anakinish Bulldogs have punched their ticket to the championship game here on Championship Sunday as there goes the final buzzer now. A huge shout-out to the Trail Bearcats for making it this far into the semifinals. A feat on its own. And something that you can look back on and be proud of as you get older in your hockey career. But the Antigonish Bulldogs are going to take this one 6-3. to three, And they're going to head to the championship game. And we're not sure who their opponent is yet. There's still four and a half minutes left to go over at the Antigonish Arena. It's 6-5, to five, Crushers White. Well, that's pretty much going to do it here. We'll stick around for the player of the game ceremony here. And then we'll shut it down and head over to the arena for the championship game. But we'll step aside here for just a moment and we'll be back with player of the game ceremony when we return. All right, players on their respective blue lines, as they call it. Bunch of happy faces for the Bulldogs. And so Lexi Barber, player of the game here for the Churro Bearcats. We had a quick moment to talk about her before the game, and she'll take player of the game on. She'll get that nice trophy in a high-button sports orange toque there. So congratulations, Lexi Barber. Happy to have you representing the company with that toque and a great game by her. So stole my thunder down there in the announcer's booth. But the birthday boy, Bryce Boyle, picks up player of the game honors for the Bulldogs. And that is going to officially do it here for this broadcast, folks. We really hope you enjoy the broadcast as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So for myself at iButton Sports, and Mr. Tyson Alders on the camera. We thank you once again for tuning in, and we'll see you around the rink, folks. Stay safe today.